Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about Kolmogorov maximal inequality and its very short proof. Myself, Dr. Ghar, you can simply contact either through my telegram link, this is the barcode and this is the uh, link of this, else you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Ghar for finding the various videos on probability and statistics. Now the objective of this lecture is we will see what is the Kolmogorov maximal inequality and its quite simple proof. We all know that before we start with this Kolmogorov maximal inequality, we already discussed about the two inequalities related to the Markov and the Chebyshev inequalities. So we firstly must know about that what is the basic difference between the Kolmogorov maximal inequality as well as the Markov and the Chebyshev inequality. We will see the differences also in this in this presentation is there. So in the probability theory, this Kolmogorov maximal inequality is also called as the Kolmogorov inequality or simply called as the maximal inequality, which is basically provide us the bounds on the probability that the partial sum of the independent random variable exceeds some specific bound. Make sure that there is a first basic difference about that. Whenever we are talking about the Chebyshev inequality, they are working on the random variables. We all know what is the Chebyshev inequality that is x minus mu is greater than or equal to k is always be less than of variance of x divided by a square and make sure that what is the x is x is my random variable but the Kolmogorov maximal inequality is working on the partial sum of the random variable so there is a first basic difference between them we will see uh, uh, some another difference in the couple of the uh, minutes are there this inequality is defined by the Russian mathematics Andrew Kolmogorov, which was born in the 1903. What is the statement of the Kolmogorov maximal inequalities? If you have the x i s with ran independent random variable such that expected value of the each x i is 0 and the variance is finite, then you can take the partial sum, then you can take the sum of the sequences or sum of the sequences here. What is the meaning? If I consider s1, it is nothing but my x1. What is the S2 is? X1 plus X2 and so on. These are my SIs are defined. Then you can define the probability that maximum among all these SIs, that is the maximum among all these SI which is greater than of A is nothing but my here. The All of us seen that in case of the Markov inequality as well as the Chebyshev inequality, such restriction is not imposed. They are simply working on the general for any expected value are there. But this Kolmogorov of maximal inequality is working when you have expected value of the x i's are my 0. If you closely look about this inequality, it, it seems to be that it is just like say Chebyshev inequality because it, it looked like say here. But it, this Chebyshev inequality, but this Kolmogorov of inequality is more stronger than of this Chebyshev inequality. Because uh, as I discussed that these are working on the partial sum of the sequence and we all know that the, when the sequence will be converges, when it converges of the partial sum sequence after. So you can say that this column of inequality is, is the key to establish the convergence of the series for the independent random variable while the Markov and the Chebyshev inequalities are working only for the random variables. Are. Now this is the statement about that. We all know that this the, how you can write the variance of the any of the quantity. So variance of the SN is I can write this value like of this minus expected value of here. Now you if you look about that if each of the XI's are the zero, what is the variance? What is the expected value of the SN? This is also be the zero. So this value is my zero. So you can say variance is nothing but my E of SN square. What is the meaning of that? I can replace this SN square to be the E of SN square that is called as the second form of this Kolmogorov maximal inequality. Moreover, how you can find the variance of the SN? So if SN is my here because they are independent, so I can write this value as variance of X i. i varies from this. So it means this is nothing but my third form of the Kolmogorov maximal inequality. If you consider n is 1, so what is the meaning of that? This is there. What is that? If one m is 1, so what is the meaning of that? k is 1. So once k is 1, so it means s of k is nothing but my s1. What is the s1? Is nothing, nothing but my x1. So it means this is nothing but my Chebyshev inequality. 
So you can say the Chebyshev inequality is one of the particular case of this Kolmogorov maximal inequality. Or you can say this inequality is a generalization of the Chebyshev inequality. On the other hand, if you consider, if you replace k by the n, what is the meaning of that? If you consider k is n, what is the meaning of that? It's a maximum among them, then again it will be the Chebyshev inequality. Why? Because once you k is n, then it will be the Sn. What is the mean of the Sn is? You, now you can replace as a mode of the Sn. Again, it's a Chebyshev inequality. Now, what is the proof of this Kolmogorov of maximal inequality? That's a very simple proof about that. So I can start with the any of these form are there. So we can firstly start with the E of Sn. So each of the xi has mean 0. Can you find this value? So we all know that this value is nothing but my 0. Now we can start from here. What is that? If E of Sn are 0, firstly we have to look about this index because S1 is x1, S2 is my x1 plus x2, S3 is my x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on. So firstly we have to look about the index for which for which k we have to look about the index for which k this uh, this inequality holds because k varies from 1 to n so out of this whether this number is greater than a whether this is greater than a whether this is greater than a so we have to look about the index k so i can define the index tau which is the infimum of all those k which is less than of the n such that this property holds what is the meaning of that if i consider say ai what is the meaning of the ai is that is si is greater than of the a what is the meaning if i consider a1 what is the meaning of a1 is s1 is greater than of the a what is the a2 is i can consider s2 is greater than of the a so it means what is the s1 s1 is my less than of the a so that's the meaning of this if i consider ai that is si is greater than of the a so if you look about that what is the intersection of the a1 intersection a2 clearly say that this is my zero because this value there is no intersection common between them so you can say ai intersection a there is zero again from here it is clearly sees that whenever sk is less than of the a that is like of this case then it is nothing but my tau is sn so you can see this is just the index number are there for satisfying this requirement now we can start from the left hand side because this is the index so we have to denote it for which value of the x so i can consider this index as a tau so this number is my here now what is the meaning of that we can apply the chebyshev inequality here i can replace x with the s tau so what is the mu is mu is nothing but my expected value of the s tau we have proved that expected value of the sn is zero for all n so since tau is the upper bound is so it means tau lies between 1 to n so s of this is also be the 0 so i can apply the chebyshev inequality here i can open this variance of the s tau which is written here again what is the value of the e of s tau again is a 0 so we can write like of this now if you compare these two inequalities what is your target your target is to prove this is less than of the e of sn scale that is the only target which is left behind so we can start from here so look at that what is the sn is x1 up to the x of n what is the meaning of the s tau because since tau lies between 1 to n so it means i can consider up to the x of tau a tau lies in between here so what is the remaining part is there that is x of tau plus 1 up to the x of n that is nothing but my s of n minus s of tau so i can return sn can i return sn as of this form s of tau minus i can return like of this man now we can open a minus b a plus b whole square we can write of this we can open the expected value which is written here now clearly says that what is that as i discuss s tau is my x1 up to the x of tau what is the sn minus of the s tau that is my x tau plus 1 up to the x of n so clearly say that it is 1 to somewhere is tau then it is tau plus 1 and up to here is n this part is my s of tau this part is my sn minus s of tau which is clearly says that they are my independent 
once they are independent then we all know how we can open the independent expected value which is written here what is the value of this this is zero so this complete part is my zero we can substitute this value here we will get this expression clearly says that this number is my positive value because it's a square value it's a positive value this is also the square value this is a positive value so for the two quantity a and b which are positive we all know that a plus b is always be greater than of a so i can return like here so that is what is the meaning of that expected value of s tau square is less than of the expected value of the s n square i can substitute this value in this equation number 1 we can get the required proof of this mark of this call group of inequality theorem also uh, because all these are of the same form so since we prove this one we can easily derive this that is the variance of the sn is nothing but my expected value from here you can easily prove of this from here we can easily prove of this so all these three forms are interconnected to each other so i hope you can simply learn how you can prove this markov column group maximum inequality and also you can see what is the difference between the chebyshev inequality and this here we can see this is the generalization of this chebyshev inequality i hope you can like share and comment on this video you can share with your friends best of luck students happy learning